The Grind is back with another episode for you at the channel. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. Because the weather in our Britain is changing. And Jesus if Christ. you don't live in Britain, you live outside of, this, of our country, uh, we have some pretty bad weather. Uh, it does actually affect us, by because it actually is pretty annoying. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 A certain period, certain parts of the year where it is just wet, damp, cold, single digits, freezing. Jesus and yet Christ! we still want to ride in this weather, but some of us choose even not to because it's that bad. Well, we're going to get into it here, Luke Wright, and let's get into it and talk about how the weather is changing and what's about to happen over the next four months for not only Luke Wright, right. you know but for every, every, every amazing and every advanced elite biker, but also normal bikers. Oh, shit! And normal riders. So let's get into it. Wait. <laughs> it's showtime. <laughs> Devon, out here in the British countryside, laddie. Oh yeah, we have a bit of a bit of a monsoon going. Oh my God, look at all this. Oh my God, it's just it's just wet. It's wet. This is now the British season of wetness. Where's the traction? Outside into the lovely British weather. Well, shit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you, Metzlers. Thank you for being the amazing tires that you are. Giving this classic superbike some grip in all the slippiness. Kick ass! Oh yeah, here at Luke Rides. Should we have a bit of a kabubble? Yeah, baby! <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> oh, isn't that epic? Well, everyone, the Luke Rides. Luke Rides is back with another episode for you. This one's going to be a bit of a short one, really. Uh, but it's all good. Because now we are in pretty much as of tomorrow, we're going to be in November. So, this is really where here at Luke Rides we're getting closer to a point now where we're not going to be seeing much of the BMW Classic Superbike and also the Z1000 SX Beast. Uh, because what's going to happen is that as we move into next month with a touch of the heated grips, oh yeah, we have a bit of a boom. Oh yeah, huh. so there the boom, she can get. Woo! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, baby, yeah! <laughs> 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 Bok! <laughs> what a bock! <laughs> wow, the fucking limiter! <laughs> wow, the limiter, son! <laughs> oh, funny. Funny classic super bikes are. It's like, wow! And even though she doesn't have a quick shift, the uh, gear changes are actually pretty good, to be honest. They're actually pretty good. They are very quite slick, although sometimes slow, but uh, sometimes slow, but most of the time they're fairly quick. Um, Let me try. Luke Wright is not looking forward to what's about to happen because as of November, December is when the weather in our country really does go to absolute shit and we are about to lose any sort of warmth. It's going to be cold every day. It's going to be single digits. Help me! Help me! Even in the afternoon. So that's why Luke Wright is even having to adapt his gear for winter riding because it's just getting that cold. But the worst part is is what we're about to find ourselves in is a lot of rain. Now temperatures are dropping, the roads aren't drying as fast, it's a lot it's a lot harder to try and keep your motorcycles, that? your super bikes, your junior supercars, your gear clean and tidy because really much no matter where you go because the roads are damp with puddles and crap on the roads and because it's all damp it washes onto your motorcycle but also your cars so it just feels a bit it feels a bit non-stop do you, do you know what look right means it just feels a bit a bit non-stop all the effing time 
So that's something we're going to have to deal with now. And uh, that's it, the constant rain, the constant fracking rain, the constant, the constant crap of the weather. I've been constantly, constantly cold. Constantly cold, Casanilla. I mean, just constantly fucking cold all the time. Help me! Help me! And then when it does rain, it's like ice cold rain, so it's like So, yeah. That's how the weather's about to change here at Luke Rides. That's how it's about to change for not only Luke Rides, but, you know, pretty much everybody. It's going to change for pretty much everybody, is what's going to happen. And that is just bollocks, you know. It's just it's just the way the world is. At the moment. There's nothing we can do about it. That's just how it is. And, you know, we just got to suck it up and be brave and battle the cold while trying to earn as much money and trying to earn a living at the same time. You know, and all that sort of stuff. Luke Rides will be changing his gloves as well. He will be changing his gloves soon to something a bit more warmer. Um, which again are going to be the absolutely prestige, the most top ends, high performance, the, the Exotica, the Central, that is Rocca. Um, so that's going to be good. We've got to do that. Let's have a rev. Oh yeah! Do you let like that rev, son? Yeah, baby! <laughs> <laughs> oh, BMW Classic Superbike. And that's with a cat installed. Do you, do you know what look what means? That's with a cat installed. Imagine the cat being deleted. Mm. It's letting this engine breathe the way it's supposed to. That would just be bloody epic, you know. That would just be epic. Epic in every single way. Luke Croyd would love a bit of that. That would be bloody epic. Bloody epic indeed. All right. Oh yeah, that was just accelerating. <laughs> oh, are these lights going to turn green, red? No, they're not. So that's fantastic. Rook Rides is looking forward to, you know, looking forward to the summertime and battling through this and then getting out of this crap. So now it's dry. You can really feel like there's some traction now. You can really tuck her in the corner. Should we go for it, man? It's all good. It's all good, Cassinilla. And you take your dominant position, which is like, well, it's going to be position two now. So let's just hope that the weather isn't as harsh as Luke Rides is thinking, and just fingers crossed that the weather is not going to bloody destroy us and ruin our. Uh oh. Uh, 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 careful now, dude. Spot of that one. Luke Rides spot of that one. He's ready to have to go. A manoeuvre. That was a bit fucking dodgy. Well, Luke Cry hopes we don't go through that. And that's a weather update for you all at Luke Cry. and what we kind of expecting in the next couple of months. Um, fingers crossed we make it. Fingers crossed we're not we're not absolutely destroyed, frozen to death and wetted to death by the weather. But there's only one way to find out. We're going to find out here at the Lukey Rides. Thanks for watching everybody as we power on through the moors and uh, also a bit of work as well and fantastic and Luke Rides Mia is doing amazing Luke Rides Mia good his amazing queen good his amazing wife good Casinilla so proud Luke Rides so proud of his amazing queen his amazing Mia no one as good as his Mia no one good like Luke Rides amazing Mia his amazing queen his Retini Kun Chan his Palia Kun Kun this is goddess in the world. It's goddess kissing Ella. Always, always. Luke rides Mia. Let's go and finish up. Well, Luke rides hopes that you enjoyed that little, little simple motor vlog. We don't do many simple motor vlogs here at Luke rides, but it's always good to just do something normal, not too complicated, and actually go into something that does affect us all. Well, I hope. Luke Rhodes hopes you enjoyed watching that. Have a lot of fun with that. And Luke Rhodes will catch you in the next episode of the channel. Brilliant. The way we. The little rascal has to it. That's awesome. This is the end of the trail for me. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, kid.
bit more tacky a bit more tacky of the attackies just feel a bit more tacky man nice 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 nice